Hello everyone, and welcome to Outlast 2. So, I think I played a little bit of this like 3,000 years ago. I can't remember. You guys seem to enjoy my last Outlast playthrough, so we're going to go ahead and do a playthrough of this game too. Uh, I enjoy dying. I deserve to be punished. Life simulator. I think we're just going to go with normal mode, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Allegedly, it contains all that. Lynn Langerman is an investigating investigative journalist, if those still exist, seeking the answers behind a pregnant woman who was taken out under impossible circumstances in rural Arizona. You are Blake Langerman, her husband, assistant, and cameraman. Wow, dynamic duo. Record everything. Neither of you are fighters to navigate the horrors waiting for you in the desert. Your only choice is to run, hide, or die. Well, you are a journalist, so I guess you're not a fighter. Seal not the prophecies of my word, but copy them even... Oh, can't read that in time. Please, Blake. Blake. Blake, wake up. Blake, you suck. You're not a fighter. Blake, you can't even pick up a tree branch and swing away. He's coming. Ah! He's here! No! Get away! Ah! You know how easy it is to be a fighter? I'm awake. Yeah, I'm really sleeping. Well, I had to get that hospital footage organized. Why is her neck in italics? What? In your sleep. Jessica, I think. Oh. Well. You know a Jessica? Oh, uh, no. No. I mean, uh, listen. I was dreaming about Jessica Gray. You can dream about ex-girlfriends sometimes. Oh, it yeah. happens. I haven't thought about her in ages. No, oh, haven't you? Hey, we're crossing into reservation land now. You said I'm looking for some sort of factory? This is in yeah. Arizona, right? We Why is it cloudy and rainy? That doesn't that exist. Pretty empty. All the mercury in that woman's blood, she had to have spent at least a decade downstream from some pretty heavy industry. You think so? You say so, man. You bought the time. We should record an intro while we're up here. Production value? Sure. Give me my camera. Hopefully this one's better. Ba batteries. Batteries are better than the other camera oh, I had. Be crap. We'll have to... Whoa. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Fuck. My glasses. I'm that. definitely not a fighter. Allegedly murdered. The doctor interviews. If this falls on the first 30, we need to get the word murder in there. We should probably mention the fetus, too. I mean, how it just... Here, let me try a version that can serve as an intro for the whole piece. Tell me when we're good. Okay. We're good. Two weeks ago, a young woman was found wandering, barefoot, pregnant, and alone on a barren stretch of highway a hundred miles from the nearest... Oh! We lost the engine! Oh, we lost the engine? Oh, that's stuck. Do you know how unideal this was? Also, why did that door just randomly break off? This is literally me when I get on a plane that even functions properly. <laughs> God, I hate flying. Outlast, raised to the second power. The only thing I hate worse than flying? Exponents. Alright. To Jessica. Okay. There's my main man, Jesus. There's a creepy guy walking down the hallway. What am I doing at a school at... 607 I'm guessing PM I can see my house from here <laughs> right here this is where I am currently by the time this comes out I won't be there anymore I had to drive all the way from in this generalized area to over here that sucked 
I have to do that again in a couple of days. So if you're in uh, Bremerton, Washington, thanks for watching. The odds of somebody being here, not very high. Okay. I would check to see if I still have legs. Luckily this door was here to keep me warm. Oh, you know what? I think I should be able to use a controller, right? That would be ideal. Are you down there, Lynn? Pilot's definitely dead. Luckily we paid for the ow. Luckily we paid for the time. That's right. To get to a ledge, just move towards it. Whatever you say, pal. Important. Raise your camera. Recording will start automatically when the recording light blinks. That means you are aiming correctly at the recording event. Aim at the event until the wet circle is fully uh, successfully capturing the moment. Look. Look how... Oops. Look how successfully I've captured the moment. The pilot is gone. She wasn't there. Lynn's body wasn't in the wreckage. How do you know? She could still be alive. You don't know that, brother. Oh, shit. Jesus. Is yeah. No, there's no bodies. She's not in here. Lynn! 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 Doing pretty good. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh fuck me! Yeah. Fuck, 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 fuck. Is that the pilot? That did not happen in the crash. Are you sure? It could have happened. This... That could totally happen in the crash. <laughs> pilot. I don't even remember his name. The fuck kind of people would skin somebody alive? Oh, Jesus Christ, Lynn. Okay. Well. You're asking questions I don't think you want to know the answers to, brother. Haha, <laughs> yeah, that's good stuff. Okay. I mean, after all, it is Arizona. A town. Where? Oh, God. <laughs> from anything. Is this guy saying thank God? Did you not just see the skinned pilot up there? Yes. The only life that I've seen so far, did that obviously the people in the town did that. There's not supposed to be anything for miles. But I wasn't alone out here. Fuck. I wasn't alone out here. Dude, this guy is crazy. Oh, a town. Oh, yeah. Surely, <laughs> this wasn't the issue. Luckily, though, I'm a lover, not a fighter. I'm lost. Let me into your house. It's got a big old cactus protecting the side of the building. What do we got going on here? 
Looks like someone's a little lost. Is anybody there? Please. That was really stupid. Who's This is like... You ever heard of reconnaissance? Genuinely. You go quietly check out a town first by moving along the outskirts of it. You see if it's messed up. Like this, and if it's messed up, you avoid it. <gasps> like that. Can't show that, probably. Does it want me to show that? Housekeeping! There he is. Dear Father, our loving God continues to bless me with visions. Uh, photo taken. Okay, can I just find Lynn? Nothing yeah. matters but Lynn. Dear God, I love our visions, and I know more certain than ever that the enemy is near with every day. I was scrubbing the stains from the floor in Daniel's room when the blessed music rose inside me and sank me into true sight where I saw a creature like the burning sun with inward rings of teeth upon teeth basically word salad okay also typically people want subtitles on How many bandages I have? Two. A battery way out here. You love to see it. We'll open that window momentarily. Oh, that's, oh, that's fucked up. Oh, you have to run the night vision. Gotcha. Tragedy wall. Top with barbed wire. I could feel tension in my skin. You did what? Somebody watching me. Ah. Huh. Well, you are making a lot of noise in a town you've never been to before. Oh, my sweet God. It is dark out here. Not good. God. Okay. Well, down into the creepy basement I go. Midwife's Lament. The babe is coming. Ready the knife. The babe is coming. Knight's midwife. Mother to the enemy, stained within. God's creation, saved with sin. Chorus. Hallelujah. Stay the storm. No longer must we wait. For come at dawn, the enemy born to die in Tibblegate. 
The babe is growing. Her baby swells. The babe is growing. Sent from hell. Ezekiel awaits a sharpening, wait, a sharpening his blade. Gather at the gate, we kneel and pray. Hmm. Well. Well. All this looks pretty terrible. Not really sure what that is, but. I'm recording something. A viscera pile. It was a familiar smell, almost sweet. Turds. They. They killed their. Their offspring. <laughs> I have to do that, otherwise, I get nuked from orbit. What an... Good God. God. Ah, crunchy. Well, everybody here has completely lost their minds. It's got to be the mercury poisoning. Actually, to be honest with you, nothing about this. In the book of life of the Lamb Slayer. in the bushes. Surely she can't get through the gate, right? I'm going to try that again. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, this should only take 3,000 years for me to get there. Okay, we're going to walk around for a little while. Hey, can she see me in the fog? Nice. That's good and locked. I love. I just, yes. Excellent. Found a battery. Love to see it. What's back here? A locked door, of course. Well, I guess we're ready to get out. Alright, where's the scale at? I don't see her anywhere, so I think we're good. thinking what am I thinking I'm thinking that okay all right what do we got here no it's just straw we're good broken ladder Ugh. <sighs> 
Do you hate him? I've been smoking. This is what emphysema sounds like. My glasses. I can't see without my glasses. Oh, Jesus. Then you'll have. God wants to be dead? Okay. Mm, yeah, I don't think we're talking about the same God, though. through walls and track sounds with your camera's microphone. Okay, so he's like right out in front of me. Okay. <laughs> well, you're pretty bad at that, bro. <laughs> I'd love to see you get through it now before I can hide under the bed. <laughs> you don't even know where to look. Doofus. I'm gonna go ahead and reload my batteries. Just gonna belly crawl the whole way out. bro okay well look i ain't got time for your nonsense today nor your nonsense oh that's not good ow okay yeah just get stuck ow see this is why you got to be a fighter <laughs> you had him for a moment there <laughs> but he got the switch hit on you so that sucks brother hmm Okay, so, are we just supposed to just outrun these guys? Is that what we're doing here? I'm gonna try that next. This time, actually, we'll go right instead of left. That is evidently how you're supposed to do it. Not to run to the first door. Daddy, Daddy help. Fire. 
Yeah, well, you guys suck. Looks like you went blind because you blow. Jesus, right? So, I don't really know what this man said. He's not speaking anything. Oh, okay. Did you see Lynn? Can you see Lynn through the crack? Take the game. I need the clean text. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay, basically just talking about taking out offspring. That's typically what they do. I think Lynn's having a good time in there. As you got Papa Nos ear, I'm asking that you tell him a worrisome story that I hope only my fears and nothing or that I hope is only my fears nothing factual. The chief among his deacons, Val, came to me before sunrise this morning with an offer that was not fully described. Val acted like somebody offering something secret and sexual in nature. But by my knowledge of Val and his character, it frightened me terribly, and I would not accept any such invitation. Val would not further explain and told me that there are places in our hearts, Papa Noth's. Papanoth cannot reach. Though, truth be told, Val seemed more interested in other areas of my body. I asked Val to return this evening once I had a chance to think it over, but it is only so that Noth may send some men of a, a firm character to secretly witness what I suspect is blasphemy and betrayal to cut off before any harm is done. Cut it off before any harm is done. I hope Papa can help, as I am dreadful scared of Ruth. <gasps> The prophet Ezekiel. The prophet Ezekiel. Looks like everything's going to crap. How do you how do you end up in that place? Add in fairy per aspera. Oh hey, keys. Get. Is she? Shit. I'm assuming. Flashlight would be useful. So I don't have to use night vision the whole time. Where the hell am I going? No, I don't want to help you. Look, you're the one who wanted to be a part of this cult. If that's popping off, I don't think this guy is really a bro. Bit of a egomaniac with his pictures everywhere, right?
The door is jammed. It's just, it's like I could read all that. Okay, Gospel of Sullivan Noth. Now the breaching of hells <laughs> was close, but upon coming into night, mm -hmm, edges, Satan, even though trapped in hell, penetrated the heart of Val out and, oh, and Satan, John Ball, and we fearful prison. So it's just telling a story. Val's mind descended among the damned and hatred of God of Ezekiel and communed the enemy and drank and bathed in the foul, sweet, hot seed of the spider-eyed lamb. What? Val betrayed Temple Gate and God, and even Sullivan Noth, who would guide the chosen to salvation. God said, let Val and all unbelievers, heretics, die, suffer a thousand injuries, and seven times seven, that and the suffering before death and an eternity ever after, and shame. Righto. Doors locked. And it's locked. Look where the window's open. Oh god, Blake. You escaped! No. What the fuck? I don't know. Oh shit. We have to run. We have to run? Are you sure? We're doing fine. Waiting on you, gal. Where are we going? Away from here. Anywhere but here. Okay. Come on then. wrong <laughs> I mean there's no telling what's in the water so I have to stop I just I need oh god Jesus Christ you good man. brother what's happening here you were dead when you fell I thought we were all dead yeah this is not the time to have a breakdown about this we're gonna get out of here what did they do to you? I, I can't talk about it. I have no way of my Please don't ask me. This evening, after all these years, they're coming. After all they're coming. Yeah, I know. We need to probably keep moving. The woman who came to Temple Gate this day from the outside world brought with her the foul birth we've been awaiting all this time. I perform the examination myself. And He's insane. They're all fucking broke. insane. Do you? Uh, Please, Blake, I just want to get out of here. And she is a pregnant. What the fuck is going on? I can't. Not now. The yoke mate. What a statement. Please. Okay. Hope the earth with their blood. Rip the devil from her belly and crush it beneath your boat hail. Revelation is upon us. Stay back! And we must get you in Swear to fucking Christ, the first person who touches me loses their eyes. God, no! No! Oh, see. Pick up a rock. There were rocks everywhere. You start getting approached like that, you grab one of those, and the first one that gets near you, you crack him across the skull with it. You go full-on primate goblin monkey mode. No! Oh, for fuck's sake! 
Kick that dude in the head. Share my love with the father. Motherfucker! God doesn't love you. Not like I do. Why am I always getting licked in these games? Yes, my love. Oh. We have mother. I think I'll see you again. Now nah, I'm good. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Nice drive by on me there, brother. <laughs> oh, shit. Lynn. My glasses. Jesus. Jesus, God. Fuck, were they? Bunch of randos. The heretics. They They're the heretics. Lynn. Mother. It's not just the cult. It's, it's two sides. Christians and something else. Yeah. I don't know, brother. I don't know if I'd call those, uh, those guys Christians and something else. <laughs> You may not know this, but this is the same exact water effect sound that is in World of Warcraft when you go to Lakeshire. Dude, a flashlight would be baller. Just take the flashlight. Or check the flashlight for batteries, you know? Not good, not good, not good, not good, not good. Not good. Doing all right. He didn't see me. Oh, the bright light! And just like that, it was the aliens. Tell me batteries get used in flashback sequence. I'm dreaming. I'm on my fucking mind. And you're doing something. I'm sorry I have to do this. You should have loved me. You should have helped me. Jesus forgive me. I don't know what to do. I'm so sorry, Jessica. What did you do, Jessica? There's no picture. Just noise. Noise, but I saw it. I know I saw it. Did you? Okay. So, uh, what was that? I'm sorry I have to do this. I already read you this, brother. You loved me. You should have helped me. Jesus, forgive me. I don't know what to do. I'm so, so sorry. Yeah. Jessica. I remember this. Do you? Well, Jessica. And. And Lynn. And Lynn. When oh, we were. Oh, fuck. I'm back in the fourth grade. I never thought this couldn't get any worse. What? Why? Why is it worse? Okay, it's one way out. What about this room? Ah, oh, yeah, I should have guessed that probably would have been locked.
Repent! 1995-1996. What would Jesus do? Probably not anything these people are doing right now. Responsibility. Repent. Creepy guy at the end of the hallway. What you doing over there? Well, now I'm a full-grown man, so whatever the problem is, we got this. All right, we'll see you. Heading towards the exit. Out into the snowfall. Jump the gate. Nope. This is a blizzard? Jumping. Well, guess there's no way out here. I'm locked outside now. Just like that, I fall into the earth. Are you winning, son? <laughs> Yo. You're him, ain't you? The outsider. I believe so. No, so they killed you, didn't they? No. Uh, not yet. But they'll do it if they find you out here. Come on. And who are who you? Who are you? Yeah. Are you yeah. Ethan? Hey, what Ethan. I mean, are you one of them? And which side are you on? You mean why ain't I trying to kill you? Yeah, that's pretty much what I mean. I've been unborn. Seen too much to keep the faith. But you're not one of those other ones. The, the heretics. Didn't say squat when my wife got skull. Had to get cast out. Didn't complain when not. Dressed himself for my Annalee. And she not but 15. I'm sorry. But when he said my grandson, baby he put in her, was my the Antichrist, and I had to slit her belly and kill the child. Yeah. Oh, my vision got better. The head injury must have worked. Gave her a chance to run. Spun them in and some stories. I've been gifted with talk my whole life. You probably noticed. Jane Doe. Sorry. Your daughter. She was eight months pregnant. Blonde hair, cut like a boy's. Yeah. What do you know? You seen her? It's why we came here. Is she all right? Please, Commissioner, just tell me she's okay. Just, just say she's okay. She's fine. Yeah, there you go. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. And God bless you. Come on. Get you inside. Ah! Oh, oh my head. Oh, hey, hey there. You really busted your head open, didn't you? Yeah. I'll be okay. I... All right, so you head down the road, so I'll bed down there. You can hide till you're fixed up. It's all right. He just relax here. I'll keep you safe. Yeah, that this doesn't sound promising. Ethan's gonna treat you right. Oh yeah. No, something bad's gonna happen. 
Better hope you don't snore. Also, I like how I just like lay down for a nap after uh, my wife has gone missing. <laughs> hey, all right. Yeah, good luck with that, gal. He's coming. He's coming. Ah! He's here! Ah! Get away! Ah! I had nothing. Oh, just the normal just crap I see when I close my eyes. Times. If I knew where the outsider was, I don't need your help in finding the devil's whore and her rut mate. No questions, even rut mate. The heretics at chapel. God will guide. I ain't a heretic. Why is she so tall? You sin when you deny the prophet your daughter. You sin since to the night. No, the outsider is. His seed begat the enemy. God and the prophet both want Just let me talk to you I can explain. God, don't hear dead men. Pretty sure God does. Be still. Take your penance. God loves you. God loves you. Adamite's the devil. There she goes. All right. Well, that guy totally screwed. I hope you find your daughter. Well, Ethan was a Chad. Won't be needing these batteries anymore. Let's see here. Clean text. Uh, you gotta tell Papa that Anna Lee was sick and that's the truth. She's gone to live with her mama and the rest of the Scald. She was horribly afflicted, and her injury is too doleful for examination. I just sent her off because it was all I could do. You gotta know, I wouldn't have done it if there was any other choice, because I love the girl more than my life or anything else, and I don't know why Popinoff would think I was lying, but you gotta convince him of the truth. God love you, your cousin Ethan. Paul. Oh, better reload these batteries. Reckon we'll uh, go down this path then. Let's go this way. What are you doing over here, brother? Okay. It's random. Stay very quiet. Swimming is exhausting. Is it really? Christ. What is happening? 
is begun. Or it has begun. They flayed them. Nailed them to wood. She was just a kid. Who? Who's just an offspring? These look like full grown men to me. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh god, birds. By the way, this town would smell atrocious. Is that a battery? No, bandage. And I looked, and a diary unwound, a gyre, probably gyre, unwound for the night. A fire turned inward. Yep, yeah, it's, it's pretty much just, you know, things being said about stuff. If you want to read all that, you can. You're more than welcome to. Just pause the video. I don't know. I, it just, there's a, sometimes there's a lot of reading, which reading is fine. Reading's good for your brain. Okay. But even still, it kind of slows things down. It really doesn't matter if I record sounds. Those who rebelled against our god shall fall. Their oh. infants dashed to pieces all. Their women with child shall be ripped up. She's just stacking bodies out here. Not an ideal location for pretty much anything. Give me your batteries. Oop. Luckily, there is a lot of corn here. Makes it real easy to hide and move around. Oh, you're just going to happen to come into this area of the corn? Kind of preferred the corn. He's doing his own thing. Good for you. We're just going to keep on keeping on. Ooh. Audio spike. What was that? My dear Judith, I have never been much for putting feelings into words, as you, as my yoke mate, all these years, well known. So I hope I can write this down, what's well, hard for a man to say, but I've been feeling your anger and suffering, the lack, the likes, the lack of relations since we killed, <laughs> sorry, it was Papa's will and God's will, and you can't stay mad at me or I'll be forced to be firm with you. 
with love and duty, your husband, Marcus. So basically nobody was getting laid. <laughs> because they took out the offspring. I mean, I think she's probably, you know, right in being a little angry about that. And, yeah, maybe just a little bit. through the barn. That guy don't give a crap. He's like, yeah, I don't care. Maybe I could use the barn door. Okay. Dude, what is up with my wrist? Welcome that other guy didn't give a crap. You rock for his will. Well, that's not good. I've kind of cornered myself here. Or have I? Yeah, no. Don't remember that one, brother. But now that you're gone, much uh, appreciated. Let's go ahead and get out of here. And away we go. Okay. Ten cans. Nice, nice, nice. Let's get up here. Hopefully nothing pops up here. Nope, we're good. Nice. Wow, that sucks. Oh, fucking Christ. Good lord. Okay, let's see here. Clean text. January 7th, three more were sent today to live among the skull. Their sores too floored to disguise. They had seven children between them, all of whom, oh, I said children, all of whom Papanoth was sent with the others to foster care. I now have more than 40 orphans under my wing who love me desperately as only can a youngling abandoned by their parents they thought were as natural and dependable as the fact of the rising sun. And I love them. As I will never have children of my own, and have so much to give when God leaves them too, I will be there with comforts and guidance. What do these dreams mean? Very good question. This is a little messed up up here, isn't it? Ooh. stuff yeah and i think what we will do is pause that there thank you guys for joining me today if you enjoyed then leave a like would be great of you and subscribing is a great way to stay today when i post uh part two will be posted tomorrow i appreciate you guys watching and i will see everyone in the next one